Hey, what's going on, YouTube? By device help here. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys how to perform in a tethered jailbreak in iOS 6. Again, a tethered jailbreak or iOS 6. This is supported for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch fourth generation. Now, I'm making this video because you guys have asked me that you wanted at least a tethered jailbreak and to show you how to do it because you were having trouble trying to do it. So, this video is for you. Now, keep in mind that this is beta uh, and this is a tethered. That's why the iPhone dev team has not updated Red Snow to support the, I the uh, iOS 6. So, anything could go wrong. So, make sure you restore to a fresh version of iOS 6 and keep in mind that this is all beta and something could go wrong. So, if you try this, it is at your own risk. Uh, I tried this several times to make sure it works properly, but no software is perfect. Well, with that being said, make sure you go ahead and download your current version of iOS 6 and save it to your desktop, which is the easiest place to find. There is my iPod Touch uh, version of iOS 6. This is an iPod Touch 4th generation, by the way. And make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. Very important. Uh, number two, make sure you download Red Snow uh, Beta 4. And I'll have a link straight to the beta of Red Snow that I'm going I'm using in this video, okay guys? So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and launch Red Snow. Alright? So before excuse me, before you launch Red Snow, you want to right click it. You want to go down here to properties. And you want to go ahead and compatibility. Make sure it's select to run on XP server pack 3. And also make sure that run as program as administrator is checked. And hit apply, okay, and then launch the application. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the extra button from the options here, and we're gonna manually select the iOS 6 version that we want to jailbreak. So right here I have a say to my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and select it here on this pop-up window, iPod Touch. It's gonna successfully identify the build. Make sure you hit OK and then click back, and then we can go ahead and click the jailbreak button. Alright, so let Red Snow do its thing. So it's going to tell you that it's going to install SSH, no city icon or no city application and battery percentage. So let's go ahead and hit next. We're going to power off our devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform the jailbreak. Then we're going to perform a boot tethered and then we'll install uh, Cydia and we'll be done. So once your device is powered off, make sure... It's powered off completely, and you hit this next button here, and you're going to hold down for three seconds to power, then join that with the home button, and then just release the power and keep holding down the home. So the instructions will be on the screen. I'm going to go and perform that now. One, two, three. Now both buttons together. So you can see the instructions on the screen as well. I'm just going to wait for the countdown. Three, two, one. Release power, only the home button. And now we are performing the jailbreak itself. Again, this is a tethered jailbreak. If your device uh, runs out of battery life or you power it off, you have to connect to your computer once again and perform a what's called a boot tether, which I'll cover on this video as well. So let's go ahead and let Red Snow do its thing. There it is, jailbreak data. Do not release the home button until it says done. Okay, now we can go ahead and release the home button. So let us do its thing here. Uh, now this is going to take a while. You can fast forward to this part of the video if you like. Um, but uh, I don't want to cut any part of the video so you guys can see what the whole process takes. Exactly how long the whole process takes. Alright, so now it's installing the jailbreak data. Again, it's giving us access to jail to uh, SSH into our device, and that's the way we're going to be installing Cydia. Okay, so once this is done, you want to go ahead and click back on Red Snow, and then we're going to go ahead here on Just Boot Tether once this is completed, because we have to perform a boot tether uh, before we begin using our devices. So we're going to go ahead and wait for the boot up go ahead and click just boot tether let's leave it at that let's wait for the device to complete boot up now the device is jailbroken at this point it's just Cydia is not installed guys so just go ahead and wait for the boot up and then I'll show you the iOS version and that everything is running properly again I test everything several times before I make a video for you guys obviously so there you go Cydia not installed but we are jailbroken and it is iOS 6 obviously there is 
the whole thing. So, what we want to do is go ahead and power our devices off one more time after we're done doing that. And we're going to perform the same method we used to jailbreak for the boot tether. Alright, so, here we go. One, two, three. Both buttons together. Home and power. Four, three, two, one. Release power. We'll keep holding down the home button. Now, this process should be showing us a pineapple logo. If we get the pineapple logo, then we successfully boot tethered. Do not release the home button until the entire process is completed. Again, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi on your device. So there it is, the pineapple logo. Okay, now that this is done, we can go ahead and release the device. Now, there's several options to SSH, which is what we're going to be doing here. Uh, I'm going to be using an application I just downloaded. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but uh, what is it, BitViz? Anyway, I'll have it in the video description down below. We'll have the direct link to uh, uh, BitViz, which is the SSH client that I'm going to be using. Uh, you can also use an application called Putty. Uh, for Mac users, you can use Transmit. And I'll have all the links to all the different tools for Mac and Windows users. Same process on both platforms. Uh, it, the only difference on Windows is you have to run as administrator, right-click properties, and run as administrator for Red Snow. Mac, you don't have to do that. So now we're successfully booted tethered and no Cydia yet so we're gonna go ahead and open up BitViz the uh, SSH client and I'm gonna go into settings on my device go here into Wi-Fi and click this little blue arrow now it's gonna give us our IP address I'm gonna go ahead and type in my IP address here on the application let's wait for the application to launch we can go ahead and uh, close Red Snow out by the way so there is the SSH client there is uh, my IP address, which is IP address. I'm going to go ahead and type that up here where it says host. And then the port will be 22. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can see it better. So that is my IP on the first where it says host. That's where your IP address will go. Uh, then you got the, uh, the port, which is 22. The username, again, I'll have everything in the video description, is root, R-O-O-T. And then we're going to hit enter or log in. Okay. Now you'll have your own IP address, obviously. Not everybody is different. So let's go ahead and wait for the uh, ask us for the password. We're going to go ahead and accept to log in. And the, uh, the password is Alpine for everybody. So Alpine. And I'll have all this in the video description. So don't worry, guys. Go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to close this window that pops up here on the terminal. Now we have access to the root uh, access of our device. So I'm going to go ahead and paste a command that I will have this entire command on the video description as well. This is the what installs Cydia for you guys. So it's very important that you copy and paste this exactly as it is in the video description. So go ahead and hit enter and watch what our device is going to do. Again, I'll have all the SSH clients for Mac and Windows, all the links and all the entire process in the video description down below and you can watch this video over and over so you can see our device is going kinda of wacko here uh... but that's perfectly normal okay guys it's perfectly normal so at this point we've jailbroken we've boot tethered and now we're installing Syria and our process is completed so once it tells us that our process is complete we're going to slide to unlock and Syria should be installed on our devices we can go ahead and launch Syria and let it do its thing it's going to do this normal, uh, you know, preparing file thing that Cydia does. And when it's done doing that, I'll come right back show you that Cydia is fully running. Alright guys, so Cydia finished up uh, uploading all the files that it needed to do. Now we're going to go ahead and launch Cydia. Go ahead and select our user. And now Cydia is fully working. And now we can go ahead and use Cydia in iOS 6. We go ahead and Cydia load up and all that good stuff and start now remember again this is all beta some packages may not work and uh, make sure you guys have a fresh version of iOS 6 installed if you want to try this out uh, because this is all beta and anything could go wrong so make sure you read carefully each package before you install it in this beta version of the jailbreak of iOS 6 so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up if you did make sure you click that like button guys I always do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot here it is the iOS 6 version 
And also make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All the links will be down below as always. And all the links to all the programs and all the things that you'll need will be in the video description down below as well. So make sure you guys go ahead and read that description. And make sure you stay up to date with the latest information on iOS devices by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys real soon. Peace.